Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you how I got this look using the Blue Bug Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Just a chit chat, get ready with me video. Um, ugh, I'm not going anywhere, but I thought it was a fun way for you just to talk. And uh, you know, really, I wasn't really feeling today, so this still help a lot when you look good, you feel good, and it's definitely helping because I'm feeling this look. So if you want to see how I got this look, make sure you keep on watching, but before you do, please, I don't know why we have to keep doing this. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and make sure you leave a thumbs up. Just a free way that you can help out my channel, show support, and I do see that we're growing a lot. So I can't wait to share this experience with you, and I can't wait to show you this look. If you want to see how I got it, keep on watching. zoomed in I'm just gonna start actually finally start off with my eyebrows so you guys can see how I do them I know a few of you have asked and really um we're just gonna play makeup today I have an idea of what I want to do um you guys have probably already see the look in the intro but I have no idea really what is going to happen um, I don't know my face is already prepped and primed I did my uh, cleanser my moisturizer and I do use uh, Rebecca of Matte Poreless um, primer because my face is oh, just a small amount around my nose, my T-zone, and I actually use that to set my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown, and I just have that, I don't even know which number this is, either 12 or 14, I do not know, I've had them for so long the numbers are rubbed out. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some, I've had this forever, they do last a long time, hopefully I can do this and hold the mirror and not look stupid. We're going to see. I usually just take that spoolie. And if you ever wonder why my face looks dry in some areas, it is that um, Becca primer. But I don't care. It does help a lot. Um, if I'm going out, which I don't usually go out. <laughs> but if I am going out, and I actually just take a small amount and like, rub it off on the side. Just so I'm not using too much so it doesn't look too harsh and too dark. But if that's what you want, then go ahead. Do you. That's not exactly what I want. Yeah, um, with that, I actually set my primer with a setting spray if I know I'm going to be going out. Usually the all-nighter setting spray by Over Decay is really good um, with the primer. I didn't even really like tweed my eyebrows, so not bad, guys. And I actually, if my hair would just stop, I actually just follow the, just outline my eyebrows. Just follow the shape of my brow. If you guys want to make a new shape, you guys can do that too just real quick and I never really show my eyebrows like how I do my eyebrows because this is literally for me it takes the longest and then I usually hate them then I usually give up then I'm gonna clean them up <laughs> I like them again so I just do that wild hair <clears throat> and I feel like I'm never going to get better this is so annoying so annoying like when you get sick and you feel like you're never gonna be able to get better you feel like you're never gonna breathe properly again it's just like what's going on body do something better yeah, so I'm off today. I figured I have zero plans. I don't really go out. I wasn't really in the mood to do anything. You guys ever just be in that movie you don't want to do anything? Like, it can be really depressing, but it's like sometimes you you just shouldn't. You do too much during the week or you just, you just have a lot going on. You just want to chill and watch Netflix and eat snacks. Like, I want to be a bum on my couch. Like, that's fine. It's my couch. So I'm just going to go ahead and just fill it in. You can see nothing too crazy. I don't have like really dramatic eyebrows like ever. And my eyebrows are actually, they're really dark. Compared to my hair, my natural hair color is like brown. Like it's a visible brown. You can see that it's brown. It's not like a dark brown. And does get sun bleached in the summertime. So for my eyebrows to be this dark doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is. So I'm just gonna go. Wow, I'm just getting making a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling in the other brow, and I'll show you guys how I actually clean them up. Okay, so I did go ahead and just finish cleaning up underneath my eyebrows, and I did use the same concealer just to uh, set my lids. You guys see me do that. I do. I'm not setting with a powder. Um, I haven't done this the last two uploads, and I think I'm not gonna set the powder anymore. I think I'm feeling like it's performing better, and I like it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead with the Blue Bud palette today. This one by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've only used it that... Did I use it? I used it about twice. 
Now, I did it when I first tested out the Blue Blood along with the Blood Sugar Palette, and I do believe I used this in my New Year's Eve Glam um, video. And I just feel like playing with blue. It's my favorite color. My background was still up from the last video, and I want to use it. And I really love, love, love how these shadows perform. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this as yet, but I'm thinking mostly blue. I do kind of want to recreate a look that I did a few years ago when I first started like really practicing doing my makeup. And I'll probably insert a picture somewhere or put on my Instagram somewhere. I really love that picture. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. It's gorgeous. The packaging is amazing. I really love how these shadows perform. I think I just want to use a bunch of blues. I think that's what I want to do. And I was really impressed with that blue blood shade when I did my New Year's Eve glam video. What is this? I don't know why I don't know the numbers of my brush by heart by now. Um, whatever. This is a 225. This is a Luxe Eye Blender brush. If you don't know, this is by Zoeva. This is a rose gold collection. I do have the whole um, set of 30 brushes that I use when I do other people's makeup. It comes in a cute little makeup bag. I think it's the Zoeva um, brush. What was it? The makeup artist bag? Whatever. That's it. It's gorgeous. It's expensive. But they're really good quality. I've had them for about two years now and I have, um, aside from a little staining, um, because some of them are natural fiber hairs, because I use so many colors, that's really it. They're great. If you wash them, they form back perfectly. I'm just going to take this eyebrow on the brush and dip it right into this blue blood shade. So that's the only thing about this palette. It's hard to hold. It's really big. So this blue blood is this baby blue right here. I'm just going to go ahead, dip my brush into it. And um, if you remember from that video, it's very pigmented very pigmented so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this right in oi right in my crease all right now that that's on i didn't really blend out the edges too much i'm gonna do that in a minute i think i'm gonna have it i don't know i love this color i love how it performs i love that it's like so bright and vibrant especially on my skin tone like usually i mean if you're really fair and pale like Come on, of course the colors are gonna pop, but it's not every day that these colors and these blues, which I hear are hard to make, and I don't know. I don't I don't make makeup. I'm just reporting what I've been told. Now I'm just gonna take my petite crease brush and I think I'm gonna go into this teal uh, flourishing just because I want to use as many blues as possible. And yeah, we're gonna try it out. And teals have failed me before, but Jeffree Star's teals are not wow, this is like a little hard press. It's like not picking up too much on my brush see that and i'm like dipping in a lot let's try it maybe it'll perform better so i'm just gonna lift my eyebrows and go right right in the crease just right above the lid okay there we are but it's like pulling more green and that's fine we're just gonna build it like i don't know today is just ugh, a blah day so hopefully this will make me feel better you guys ever feel like if you look better you feel better like, that's a real thing. It is, because if I just feel like shit, or I'm not really feeling it, this is not really doing much for me. But I can see it, so I'm just going to keep it going. Like, if I don't really feel well, if I look well, then, you know, if I feel like my makeup is popping, I feel like, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it does help you feel better. I'm not saying that looks are everything, but sometimes it just helps you, for you. Who cares what other people think? Okay, so this color is really um get into me like let me get it maybe i need to change my brush maybe that's what i need to do let's try it i'm gonna take this little morphe brush remember i don't know these numbers oh it's really not pulling on this brush too much like it's just like going everywhere but but i think let's try this side i think we can do it okay it applies it down a little and i just blend it up with that brush but yeah, you guys, I'm sorry, I just want to go ahead and tap up right here. I feel like it's not. Sometimes you just need to do something for you to feel better, whether it's like, you know, you want to do your makeup, you want to do your hair. Sometimes a mask, like, yo, you'd be surprised. Like, just chilling, pampering yourself will definitely help a lot. Yes, yeah, so I guess that's what I'm, I'm not really even doing that today. I'm just going to play makeup, talk to you guys. And we're going to see how this look turns out. So I actually started pra really practicing. Okay, I kind of like how this is looking. I was talking all that shit. I always do that. I'm talking all that shit for no reason. Um, but yeah, so I really started practicing like my makeup. I really want to learn for my 21st birthday for these pictures that I want to take. I had a dress made and everything. That was like the last birthday like I actually tried to enjoy my birthday. 
Um, as you guys know, I don't really like my birthday. I cancel it like almost every year. But yeah, so I wanted to learn to do my makeup for that. So I started watching videos on YouTube. They're always interesting to me, always fun. And my cousins did makeup and they would just do my makeup. But now, <laughs> I've surpassed them. Um, but yeah. So that's really what I wanted to learn. So just basic stuff. And I wasn't even really like using... Oops, sorry, I just want to apply that blue again. Make sure it's seen because I feel like it's going away. But I can see the teal coming in and it actually looks really nice with this um, blue blood shade. This is, um, the teal color is flourishing right here. So it's really nice. Um, yeah, so I just learned because I was at a job, like I work for a small business. <laughs> Do not recommend one star, very ghetto. Like I work for a very small business and I don't know if you've ever heard about small business drama, but that shit is real like who it is too real um but yeah so they closed i was actually supervised at the time when they closed it was it was it was fine like i got my little bonus before we closed i had a job lined up or like not too long after but yeah so that's small business drama that small company like yo it was crazy we had oh tons of nepotism HR was this young girl, like around my age, who didn't really know much. I'm just gonna actually take this a little on the lid as well. Didn't really know too much about the job. Like she had to learn on the way because her family was close with the CEO. And it was just like, yo, okay, fine, whatever. But she was like too friendly. One of those is like, oh, let's have lunch together. Why don't you wanna be my, like me, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really friendly, like, I don't know. I'm not going to be rude to you, um, but I definitely like, look, if we're not friends, we're not friends. And I didn't really like her attitude anyway. She was like, she wanted to be your friend just so she could uh, find out your business or whatever you knew about someone else's business. I'm like, girl, move. Ain't nobody got time for somebody else's business. I really like how that's coming out. Ooh, I think I'm just going to actually take it more, like a little bit more in the crease just to build it up. And... On the outer corner but I'm definitely gonna dark up the outer corner because this is not enough she was trying to sleep with the team lead at the time and she was telling how many people she slept with it was like girl what's going on y'all are too y'all too friendly just gonna go back in with that petite creep just to let it out I'm like y'all doing too much and then that team lead like one of the employees but she had a boyfriend so he resorted to the other employee that was like her best friend yo this, it was so much like they were sneaking around i almost lost my job because of them but phew, it's crazy we're not even gonna, maybe another day like because crazy oh i don't even know what i want to do i'm just gonna go back in i'm not gonna put anything on the brush i'm just gonna go ahead and blend out these harsh lines and i probably look real crazy but i usually my hair is blue like come on I'm alright with the, the strange looks. One lady, she wasn't even old. This was like the when I like first dyed my hair and it was like blue and green. This woman, she did, she wasn't old. She was young. She had to be in like her thirties, late twenties, thirties. She was like, oh my god, the blue looks so good on you because you're so dark. And I was like, what? And she was Indian too. I'm like, bitch, are we the same color? Cause I'm so dark. I was like. Whatever, I'll take it. That's so annoying. Like, what are these half-ass compliments? Ridiculous. Okay, I think I want to just take... <laughs> it's probably going to be... Hopefully it's not too long. I know my other two videos were, like, mad long, and I apologize for that. I think I'm actually going to leave it like this. Like, I kind of want to dip into this blue Monday shade. Like, I really like it. A little on the outer corner. I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm not going to clean it off or anything because this is a dark color. Like, usually if you're going in from, like, dark to light, you should definitely clean up that brush. And look at that. I'm just going to take a little... I think I just want to take a little bit. Ooh. Right there. And I'm not going to do too much. Because I still want that teal to show. Alright, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, shit. Sorry, dipped in the wrong color. I'm just going to um, add a little to the other side as well and cut the crease. Okay, so I did go ahead and cut my crease. I actually didn't use the NARS, I just used my Shape Tape and Tan Sand. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a glitter primer. I've been using this NYX glitter primer forever. I broke the top and everything. I'm just trying. I'm not wasting because things are not cheap and you know, 
they're not cheap i'm just gonna put that right over top the concealer like i always do and i'm just gonna pat that on because that um shade that i want to use it looks like just a straight plus glitter it's called blue ice i'm gonna pick it up and show you guys in a second put on i did put a lot because it's like a chunky glitter um, this blue ice down here I'm really just going in there, like swirling it around. I'm, actually, I don't know if I need to do all that. It feels kind of soft. So I'm just going to take my brush and press it on there. Okay, I'm probably going to need to build this up, and that's fine. I feel like it may be a little dark. Maybe I should do something a little lighter. But I don't know. We'll see. We already we're in it. So we're just gonna rock with it. You know what? Maybe we can take the small one. Same brush, just a smaller version. Um, Colin in this here, this with the diamond imprint. I'm gonna take that and see if it makes a difference. And I just put that in the front. I know most of it. This is really soft too. I know most of it was already covered with that blue from the jump. Oh, fall out. This, this shadow is so soft, like literally like confectioner sugar. You know, they did that. I don't know that I like it, but you know what? We're in it. I'm just gonna do the same on the other side a little. And keep going. But yeah, guys, this channel is growing so fast, and I'm really appreciative of all of you. But I am, I am, I really am a gift giver and I want to do something else. So I don't know what it is that I'm going to do exactly, but I'm going to do something. Definitely have to do something before I hit that thousand subscriber. And, you know, hopefully those, um, hit that thousand subscriber mark sooner than later, but you never know. I'm going to keep packing that on. And guys, I am going to continue, um, well, I'm going to start... Um, a candy series so I'm gonna do light candy is where I try my best <laughs> like the sour patch to make a look wow this is looking a hot mess I'm just gonna take this brush it's clean just to get that off real quick and actually clean up a little bit but yeah I'm gonna do a series like candy I did ask you guys on Instagram what candy inspired look would you like to see and I'm just gonna strictly do candy Nothing else, even though I had someone did say Rice Krispie Treats, and I was like, oh, I love Rice Krispie Treats. So, um, we'll see. I'm just going to take a little bit of the glitter primer again. I'm just going to use this brush. I'm going to use one side. I'm just going to pop that right on top of this, this color in shade. I don't even like saying this name. And I'm just going to take with the other side this ice tray to see if that makes a difference. See if I can just like finesse that on top. Okay, let's see. This is soft too, but it's like, ooh. let's see. Otherwise I'm just be making a mess. Okay, a little better. All right, a lot better. I think that's better. What do you guys think? You guys are not answering me, but that's fine. <laughs> Comment down below if you feel like this one is a lot better than with the white because I don't know, I wasn't feeling it too much, and whatever. We're just chilling today, playing some makeup, because I'm a loser, and I don't go outside. And I hate when like people at work, because I work with a lot of older women, they're like, oh, well, what do you like to do? What do you, you know, you do? And I'm like, not gonna tell her that, yeah, I'm on YouTube, and I do other things, because most of the time, I'm not, like, I'm chilling. I'm not always recording. I record when I can. It's been hard to record at like decent hours so I can get like rest because my brother has track meets and we go. We support him. That's the meal ticket if y'all don't know. He does track. He plays football and he's he's really good. So you guys are going to know. You guys are going to know it's my brother when he's drafted into the NFL. And he's only about to be 15 now. This is such a mess. When he's drafted into the NFL because I'm going to be right there in the front like, mm -hmm right all up in the mix stiff arm and all these little girls thinking they're gonna be his little girlfriend when we get drafted it's not happening it's not that's a little better i think if you guys don't think it's better then <laughs> you can tell me down below you guys want to um leave nasty comments y'all can do that too i don't know if you guys know this this looks crazy because it's like straight just a press glitter so it's looking a mess 
But yeah, y'all wanna leave nasty comments, that's on y'all. I don't know if you know this about me, but <laughs> I've clapped back. So we're just gonna keep it respectful in the comments. All peace and love and all that hoopla. I have a lot of family on this and they, mm, we're not one of those. So I have like a really great family. Like we really support each other no matter what like everything that we're doing we go harder for each other than we do ourselves and so, like if there's shows um that one of us has like my cousin he's a singer he's really dope he'll be on my channel soon hopefully but yeah like we all promote it we all love it and the grind is like crazy he really does so much for himself that it's like insane like label what she need a label for. He doesn't. If you've seen one of my promo vids on Instagram, hopefully I'll have a copy to put on my channel <laughs> soon. Whenever he gets a chance, like he made that and it's dope. He made it like super fast. I gave him like maybe like a few days notice. Like, hey, I just want something to post on Wednesday. Um, that was my birthday at the time. Like on Wednesday, can you just you know, make like a little promo vid for me? He was like, yeah, of course. And he did it. Like. No questions asked. I think this is fine. I'm not like thrilled or loving it, loving it. But you know, you never know until you really clean it up and throw some lashes on. Um, but I think that's fine. I'm gonna go back in with this brush. And actually, first I'm gonna use a brush and get some of this teal. That's the flourishing color right here. You can see it if my camera focused. If it didn't focus, my bad. And I'm just gonna pop that up here just to bring that make sure that color is still you know seen like it doesn't disappear like the teal in the christian dominique palette celestial storm or whatever i'm just gonna pop some more on the outer corner just to blend it out both sides keep the fallout it's whatever i'm going nowhere so i'm not really pressed about it it's like you get ready with me to sit on my couch and eat popcorners do you guys like popcorners I do not like popcorn because I don't like kernels, I don't like things in my teeth, but them popcorns be hitting. That white cheddar, whoo, that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead, um, try to clean this up. Alright, so my face is cleaned up, for the most part just got rid of some of that um, fallout, a little everywhere. Um, I'm, eh, I don't know how stuff this look right now, but you know, things can change as they always do. For my foundation and when I clean up my eyebrows, I use, I just use, um, I don't use a like, concealer to clean up the top of my eyebrows. Like a lot of people do, I feel like that makes it too bright. You don't want them to look crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and use my foundation. Oh, well, my hands are so ashy right now because of all this stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to use my Fit Me in 334. This is Warm Sun and it is like literally pretty much almost done. But I don't use a lot of foundation as is. I usually just let it get into the cap and I take some from there. And this is like really inexpensive and that's what I need right now because I can't afford to spend money like that. My real, like I haven't used it on this channel yet, just taking excess from the bottle, haven't used it on my channel yet is that Fenty, um, the matte Fenty, the first one that came out. That's my shit. It is, but I don't live close enough to the Ulta, uh, to the Ulta, to the Sephora for me to get there and buy it. So when I do like... Just run to the altar that's like five, ten minutes away. And that's why. So I just grabbed something cheap. I want to try the Juvia's Place, their matte foundation, just a little bottle. My mother has it. The one that she has is way too dark for her. She never lets me like go with her to pick out stuff. She just decides to go and pick out stuff and embarrass me, but it's fine. Yeah, so that's just what it is with that. But that Fenty is my my go-to, and I'm not gonna lie to you, that Kat Von D Locket foundation is popping too. It really is. Like that, I wore, like I put on my Ever Matte Poreless. Um, I'm just gonna take my foundation brush, just uh, just a round Kabuki brush, and just buff that out. I really don't use a lot of foundation all the time, and it's running out, so I'm not gonna use a lot of foundation because there's not a lot. But yeah, so that Locket foundation is no joke. Definitely a good foundation, whether or not you support her at this time, whether or not you think she's canceled. And all her stuff is like on sale at Sephora right now. So definitely go check it out before they start charging real money. But I'm definitely probably going to pick up some of those dip brows. Like I want maybe like the light blue one and I'm going to try that a deeper blue. Like a, I think it's like a royal blue or like a periwinkle. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for my eyebrows. I'm just going to take, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just gonna take some foundation if I can get any out of it, because it's like really done. I'm just gonna scrape some out on this same angled brush that I use and just pop some on my face. Like I really don't really care. I should really go to Ulton. I'm off today. We'll see. I just don't feel like it. It's really one of those days where I'm just doing nothing. I feel like I'm probably like, talking about nothing in this video, but let me know if I'm getting on your nerves. If I'm getting on your nerves, just comment down below. I don't mind. I'm annoying. But I don't know. It's one of those days. I'm not using a lot of foundation. I'm going to use concealer too. I don't have perfect skin, but it's not terrible. And you know what? I'm okay with my texture. And like, if you see the freckles, like I really don't care about all that. It's these damn pimples that be driving me crazy. Like they kind, of, they come out of nowhere. They're disrespectful. They they like leave marks. Like come on. If you're gonna leave, just leave. We don't need all that other shit. All that negativity. And I'm just gonna buff that out. Like from when I do my eyebrows, this I already like do my basically really do my forehead. And you're really guys, you guys won't be able to see on my forehead because what's going on here? You know, my hair. So that's fine. I'm just gonna buff this out and do yeah, my concealer. The concept I'm actually gonna use this Morphe Sculpt and Highlight Palette, the Hi-Fi 8H palette. I've never really used this as swatch out some of the um highlights but i haven't used it really um off camera i did just go ahead and pop that color name shade right in my inner corner um some of you may have noticed I'm actually really only gonna contour my nose because i've just been bronzing i don't really want to be snatched too much i'm already thin but if you guys do want to video on how i contour and how i cream contour that's if you really want to be snatched like nose where where's your nose look like you got off a of botched I'm actually going to take this donut shade, take this, I think this is the, the most cool tone one in the palette, just like on a regular like, little dome brush. I'm just going to go down the bridge of my nose. Yeah, this is a good shade to contour with. And I always bring it up also. So I'm just going to go down the bridge of my nose with that. And make sure it's straight. If not, you will look like you have a crooked nose. And it's all about shadows. So that's what happens. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose a little. Nothing too crazy. If you really want that snatched look, definitely go for cream contouring. It's just the way I'm just gonna go right at the bottom of my nose. So to um, actually bronze, I've been using this Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer. This is in two, this is warm. I don't know how many shades they have, and I don't think they have a lot. And as I said in my last video, I just like to use an angled dome brush to actually bronze. Um, but yeah, but that's the one that I found. So I'm just gonna go and like just take it where I would usually contour. And it's really warm for me. It's like just bronzing, like heavy bronzing. But it's cool. I like to bronze. Now that I'm feeling a little dry from all these powders, I'm actually just gonna use my Fix Plus, which I shouldn't. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna use my Fix Plus let that dry i'm gonna pop on some lashes i did do bottom eyeliner just some black um sephora eyeliner very similar to the make it forever aqua xl just a lot cheaper because sometimes we got it here's where we are just popped on some lashes and i said popped on like it was quick it was not <laughs> my lashes kept getting in the way but this is where we are right now shout out to this pimple right here making this cameo i see you and i'm not feeling you right now um so now what the hell is i gonna do oh yeah it's time for a highlight so, for highlight, I'm just going to go in. I just use this all the time. I was just using my um, Physician Formula Hydro for a while. Just so it's quick. It was in my makeup bag. This is the Pro Light Fusion Number 1 by Makeup Forever. And I love, love, I feel like I didn't bring my blush out. So, we're going to see. I love this highlight. This is the, number one is the rose gold. Two is the gold. And I'm just going to go ahead with my Morphe M501, which I stated in my last video is my favorite um, brush for highlights. So I'm just going to take, and this is a beaming highlight, I'm just going to take this right on the bridge of my nose. See, this one kind of has like flecks of glitter, but it's not like that Too Faced whatever, that diamond bullshit highlight. So I really love this. And usually I do, probably one of a few people who still highlight the, um, the brow bone, but I'm not doing it today because it's covered with 
tons and tons of shadow. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get the tip of my nose. I'm gonna go ahead and get that cupid's bow. And oh, I'm not usually for the cupid's bow, honestly, it's best to use your finger. Just so you can really get it. Hit that. So now I'm just gonna go down the Alright, cheekbones and lid up. Alright, and last but not least, we're going to go ahead and do the lips. And we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to line my lips with this little denim dress. This is the NYX Suede um, lip liner, matte lip liner, and I love it. These are like my go-to. I don't think I use anything else. I haven't used this one in years since I did the last look that inspired this. Like kind of what I wanted to recreate, but this one is more blue and I love it. The lashes are... Not Angel, these are Lux. They're more like fluffy, they're longer, a little bit more dramatic, which I feel like is needed because I'm not feeling like that, you know, today. But I love them all the same. Also by Pretty Mink Beauty. Definitely go check her out. Always link down below. And I think I need to reopen some lashes. So I'm just gonna take this little denim dress and I'm going to line my lips. I did recently sharpen this a little too sharp because what the F. Look at that. I got a little eyelash on my lip, got a little mustache poking through, but we're cool, we're chilling. Just gonna go ahead. Alright, so my lips are lined, I fill them in a little bit. I know I look crazy. Uh, just go with it, trust the process and all that jazz. I'm actually going to take, and it has dust on it because I haven't used it in so long. This is uh, my next liquid suede. I should have used this in, I forgot I had this one too as an eyeliner, but whatever. This is in Jet Set. I'm just gonna go ahead. And it's like a deep, it's actually like this color on the, the outer corner. I'm just going to use that and go over my lips. I use the light blue liner because it's going to disappear, but I definitely wanted to line my lips just to have a clear, uh, cleaner application. So this is it applied, um, but we're not going to share. This is a lot. I know it's a little dramatic. I'm actually going to go into little denim, little denim dress, same as the lip liner. Um, by NYX, just in the center, just to give it a little ombre, so it's not too crazy looking, even though I could care less. Yeah, just right in the center, and kind of just blend that out. You see, I think I'm a little bit more in the center. And I'm just going to just blouse, have like a little piece of paper towel here. Just blouse a little bit. It's not dried yet, but what do you guys think? This is the final look. Um, definitely had a lot of fun make, uh, creating this look today and, you know, just chatting with you guys about really nothing and everything at the same time. Definitely do feel a lot better about the day. I do still, it's still early. So hopefully I can like find something good to watch on TV, have some snacks, chill out, just actually relax and enjoy this day off. Um, but so happy that I did get to create some content for you guys to create a look. Hopefully I can take a decent picture <laughs> for Instagram and you know just relax. I hope you guys enjoy your day as well. Thank you so much for watching me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more, comment down below anything that you'd like to see. And stay tuned, guys. I'm definitely going to do another giveaway. I have to figure out how to do it. I really, really appreciate all the support I'm receiving. And, you know, let's just keep this moving. Roll to 1000. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.